Hey, I'm Sam, and we're going to be talking about fish again today. So this morning, obviously, I woke up and did stocks. But other than that, I've been working on these tilapia nonstop for pretty much the last day. Before I went to sleep last night, I noticed one of the guys was doing really bad, and this was probably around 10 p.m., I thought I might lose them, but I figured, you know, they came in such poor water conditions. Actually, when I got the bag of tilapia, the ammonia in it was pretty much off the charts. It was really bad. The water was dark, so I had tested it right away. Within minutes of the bag being delivered, I had got the package. Uh, I got them out pretty quickly. I was able to do a partial water change and I kept doing that throughout the day. They seemed really healthy, so I figured everything was good. However, at that time, one of them last night started doing bad. And right before I went to sleep, probably around 1 or 2 a.m., I came down. Um, I think I had already been in bed, but I checked on them. And sure enough, every single one of them had ick. And this is when I started freaking out because one of them sadly had passed away. Another one was laying on the ground. I checked the ammonia, it wasn't that bad. I had put used media in the filter. It was reading pretty low on the charts, nothing to be too concerned about. I figured the beneficial bacteria wasn't, um, I it didn't have enough because these are big fish and they still need to multiply. But anyway, I found out that every single one pretty much had ick, and I put a second heater in the tank, gradually started raising the temperature about one degree an hour, uh, maybe two degrees an hour for the first hour or two, and I was up till, I don't know how late, just taking care of these guys. This morning, I had the water up to about 82, and I had added some aquarium salt last night to help uh, fight the ick. I did not want to use chemicals in this tank so I raised the temperature and used salt because that usually works pretty well and this morning um, a few more had passed away some more were laying on the bottom uh, I had done a partial water change last night this morning I did probably a uh, at least a 60% water change if not higher. I tried to get all the ick off the bottom because it had already started falling off of them. Um, right now they, it's almost completely fallen off of them. I had definitely accelerated that life cycle. I'm vacuuming the tank as often as I can to get any ick that fell on the bottom off. And I'm doing water changes every maybe 6 to 12 hours. Uh, but smaller water changes now, nothing too big. Mostly I'm just trying to vacuum the bottom to just get rid, rid of any residual ick that might be in here. But it looks like we're past the bad part. I did end up losing a total of six fish. Uh, I'm really, really not too happy about that. I am glad that we still have five, which should be enough for a breeding colony but I really had wanted not to lose any. But that's just what happens sometimes. That water, when it came, was unbelievably dirty, and that's the ammonia test. It was, it was pretty bad. That was overnight shipping, too. I just, I don't know. They're healthy now. I'm gonna keep these five alive. We're not gonna lose any more. They're going through their treatment cycle, and they are looking happy and healthy. But I need to go out, look for a flower pot. I went to at least two Lowe's and two other stores last night. They sell the clay flower pots, but they were all out of stock. Today I'm going to go until I find one. I'm going to get some new PVC for the females. And I'm just going to keep an eye on all the parameters, make sure the tank is cycled well. It looks like the uh, bacteria are already doing their job really well. Uh, I was thinking of buying turbo start if I had a problem with the ammonia. I don't have any luck with the quick start or anything, but you always used media works and sometimes that turbo start will work if you really need it. So I have a lot to do. These guys have eaten up all of yesterday and pretty much all of today. 
it's super late in the day, it's already afternoon, and I've gotten nothing done except for babysit these tilapia. So, I'm gonna go shopping, get some errands done, I gotta run to the post office, ship the last plant orders I have before they close, and then I'm gonna have to come back and care for these guys some more. Because they ended up being a super high maintenance fish. Not really, it's just kind of bad circumstances all around. But these guys should be pretty good uh, from now on. It looks like everything's under control. Uh, they're just swimming around pretty happy. They don't even know what happened. So, oh, I think the male's actually starting to chase the females around, which is a good sign. Um, Actually, I think there's two males left, and there was a total of three, and the third one's not necessarily a good thing to have extra male. So, it looks like it's all set up now. I'm happy, and I'm going to go run errands. We'll be right back. Oh, man, that was a long day. But the tilapia have finally stabilized. They've all pretty much already cleared up. I am keep siphoning that tank bottom just to make sure the ick doesn't come back and I think we're pretty much out of the danger zone I've done a few water changes today a couple big ones and a few uh, real small ones so I'm gonna keep an eye on everything and hopefully we're just done with that and I'm gonna have a healthy colony now I finally did end up finding a flower pot uh, it's crazy how many clay flower pots are sold out right now. But I got my clay flower pot. Once I'm sure that the ick is gone, I'll set it, that in there and set it up for the breeding colony. But right now I'm going to keep it out just so that it's a little easier to vacuum. And I'm sure he'll figure out it's his home once I put that in there. The pet store, I did pick up six more cherry barbs for my community tank along with four of the Siamese flying foxes. So those guys are in there now, and I'm loving watching the flying foxes. I also ended up picking up 10 more of the black neon tetras and 12 more of the gold zebra danios. I'm putting those in the shop tank, and we'll see how those do right now. They've acclimated long enough, so we're gonna open the bags up, and I am going to scoop those out and put them in the tank. There's the black neon tetras and these are the gold long fin danios. And while I'm here I'm gonna do a DIY filter because the filters are getting pretty nasty and I want to polish the water a little bit better so I have some of the polyester batting and some carbon. So I'm gonna put those in a couple of the filter spots get this water looking just a little nicer and that should do it. I'll get back home, check on the tilapia one more time, and call it a day. Now everyone's in the tank. It looks like they're all happy, and I'm gonna feed them some brine shrimp. I've been working on this for a while now. It's my own kind of design of a syringe to just spot feed brine shrimp or clean an aquarium for especially like my breeder tanks with the glass bottoms. This is really good for sucking up any dirt without sucking up any of the fry because it's very controlled and it has a very tiny hose. So I'm going to use this to feed some brine shrimp and everybody's going to go crazy. So for this tank, this doesn't really make much sense. But when I'm trying to feed multiple tanks and kind of control how many brine shrimp each tank gets, that's when this comes in real handy. I'm super excited about this design and I do use it multiple times a day when I'm doing aquarium maintenance. So let me know what you guys think of this contraption. It's really useful to me and I know if it's useful to me it's probably going to be useful to other people as well. And then while I was here at the shop I ended up cutting these pieces for a betta rack. I'm super excited about this. It's going to hold about 15 bettas and it's going to constantly have water running through the system. So I don't have to do every other day water changes on each individual betta jar. So I can't wait to get this going tomorrow. I got to cut out a few more pieces at home and I'll glue it all together. Eventually I do want to remake this out of acrylic or some other kind of plastic. But for now, this is my prototype. It's all going to be out of wood 
and then sealed really well so that it's watertight, even though water shouldn't be getting on most of it. So I can't wait to see how this turns out and hopefully I'll have it mostly done by tomorrow. But I gotta get home now. It's been a long day and I need to get some sleep before tomorrow. I'm looking at some stocks. I'm super excited about a few opportunities I have tomorrow. If you're not following my Facebook page yet, join my Facebook group in the description. Feel free to ask any questions, hop on there. Uh, let's have a good time. And if you're in there, you can see what I'm doing in the market. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow.